Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I did my hair with the Shark Flex Style. I'm having a hard time saying that. It's taken me about 10 times to say that. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Julie Meekle. It's a hard last name to say. I am 51 years old. I've been a professional makeup artist and a licensed hairstylist for over 25 years. And I'm here to show you everything that I've learned and know and continue to learn and help you out and make you feel comfortable with doing your own hair and makeup at home. So if you're interested in learning more about the Shark Flex style, keep watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave. I get so many questions about my hair and I have a lot of hair cutting videos on here in my shorts especially. I just layered my hair within the last week or two and I bought a Shark Flex style. I usually use a Dyson when you see my videos, that's always what I'm using. And I would say that this is very comparable. It's nice and light and it's ergonomically very comfortable in my hand. So I have the hair drying attachment on right now and all you have to do is click this button right here and turn it around, okay? And this is very easily maneuverable as well, although I'm not finding that I really have to touch this very often. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is use a product actually. Briogeo sent me a few of their products and I really like this. It's the Farewell Frizz Spray. I don't like anything that I can feel in my hair I find a lot of styling products will make it feel dirty faster, and I don't like that. Kind of almost makes it feel heavy sometimes, and I'm going to make sure to brush it all through. I have cowlicks right here, and if I just flip my hair upside down, they go wild. So I always will style my bangs first, and then once that's all styled, I'll flip my hair upside down to get as much volume as I can. The styler has two attachments. I used this the other day, and I posted it, I think, in a short but I'm gonna use this one today. I really like the way my hair turned out and it was quicker, I find, than the um, curling attachments and the volume lasted a couple of days. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. I'm hoping that when I talk, you're gonna be able to hear me. I will try to be considerate and turn it off so that I can explain everything to you. So because my cowlicks are right here, I don't know if you can see that already it wants to curl in. So that's what I have to fight against because they wanna go like that. So you'll see me when I pull my hair, I'm gonna pull my hair taut like this. And then when I get here, I'm gonna pull it taut and turn it this way. This as well, I'm gonna go that way, okay? And I'm gonna just speed through this so that you're not too bored and let's go. By the way, the Shark Styler has um, three levels of heat and three levels of speed. I've been putting it on the medium level. I don't find I need it that hot. Typically I do it on the faster speed, but I have a lot of control as well. So you can do it on the second or the third. If I were to use a diffuser with this, I would use a higher heat and a lower speed. And that way the hair's not flying all over the place. I'll do that in another video though for you. As I film, hello, as I film, I'm realizing what I'm doing and I wanna tell you why. So I am brushing my hair out and down. It will make more sense to you when I'm all done. I'll show you why. These side pieces where the cowlicks are, I'm keeping it tighter to my face. I want a bit more volume here, but this area, my cowlick area, if there's volume there, again, I'm not gonna have control. So I keep it tight to my face so that I can stretch that cowlick out. So now you can see when I did this, you can see where the volume is and that's why I did that. And this area is lying nice and flat. I could flip my hair upside down now, but I like to take a vent brush. This is actually really hairy. <laughs> Just a second, I'm gonna clean this. So I'll take a vent brush like this. I think I have a link for this for you in my Amazon storefront. I'll have to take a look, or in my link tree. I'll leave it a link for you in the description box. Anyway, it's not expensive. You can get them probably at your local drugstore or Sally's as well. The fact that this brush allows airflow to go through it it allows the hair to dry much faster as well. And I'm not really concerned about style so much as I am volume right now. So I'll show you again what I do. I grab it like this and pull. When I grab my hair, I go back a bit and then grab forward. So that creates a ton of tension on my hair. If I were to grab like this, it's fine. 
but I find that going back and then forward really allows for the brush to grab the hair better. And I'm focusing on the root, not as much on the ends. I'm also pointing the hair dryer upwards. If you can picture the cuticle of your hair shaft like bark on a tree, I'm going with the cuticle, with the bark versus against it. So that's gonna lay it nice and flat and it's gonna create shine versus going the other way. Say I'm holding my section like this, I don't wanna blow it like that. I wanna blow down because that's the direction that the hair shaft, that, that the cuticle goes. And as you're watching me, notice how I pull everything away from my face. So I don't want my hair falling down on my face. That's why I'm pulling out. If you're more comfortable with your hair coming down, then just pull it straighter down like, like this, okay? But for me, I want it away from my face. I really can't stand the feeling of my hair touching my face. Otherwise, it will go up in a ponytail. So the more I can get it off my face, off my scalp and off the back of my neck, the better for me. Now that I've done this enough, I'm gonna go back in here and connect the two. All right, you can see that I already have volume up here. Like I really could leave the house like this and just let the rest of it air dry and my waves would come through and it would be fine. But I'm gonna flip my hair upside down. I'm not gonna show you that part. This has taken me 15 minutes and 36 seconds and I'm explaining everything to you and stopping and starting. So the key is, is to put your hair up in a towel to soak up some of that water. If you don't, then you're gonna be starting from soaking wet hair and it's gonna take forever to dry. So make sure that it's towel dried first before you start. I'm gonna flip my hair upside down now and I'll come back in a second. Oh, my face is all red. <laughs> blood is flowing to my head. This is actually mostly dry and now I'm going to go ahead and use the brush uh, the brush attachment. So I'm going to press this button, turn it around, take this off. I forgot to press this button but this is what you do. You take it off like that. My brain sometimes. So the top looks like this and that's the bottom and just click it in easy peasy. Now it's very important to section your hair Otherwise you run the risk of it getting tangled and you just get the best result when you work from the bottom up. So I'm gonna clip my hair like this and it's about from the top of my ears back like that. I hope you can see. And let's get going. Same heat and speed. At first I over-directed, I hope you noticed that, I was kind of going upwards with my section, and then I did a cool shot. Then I took it out and then I worked on the ends. And I don't feel like I have to do a cool shot on the ends because I just want to bend. And then another section here. I usually do about three in the back. So nothing too crazy. And honestly, because my hair is mostly dry, I don't even need to do that because I've gotten all the volume by flipping it upside down. So I've decided not to do that. I'm gonna just make it go quicker for you and for me. It's only my second time using this, so I'm still kind of getting the hang of it, but honestly, it's easy. It's When I get to the top, that's where I really do care about the volume. So I will hold it up higher and do a cool shot for sure up here, just to make sure that I get the maximum volume possible. And when I do the cool shot, it's gonna last longer as well. So when I did this before, it lasted me a couple days. The volume was beautiful. So I'm lifting it straight up and holding it down. Now for my cool shot. See? See, that's pretty. I actually got this at Costco, guys. But you know Costco, they don't carry things for very long, so I have a link in my Amazon storefront for you. And 
there you go it's all done hold on i'll show you the back i hope it looks good in the back anyway <laughs> And to finish this off, I'm just going to use a light hold hairspray. I use Osis. This is by Schwarzkopf. It's called Elastic. Any kind of brushable hairspray is fine. It's just a brand that I like, but there's lots of good ones out there. So you can see that my bangs keep going in my face. That drives me crazy. So I'm going to just go like this and spray under. And same thing on this side. Under makes more sense to me because it's this part that's falling forward, not this part. If I had flyaways up here, that's when I might spray it and kind of just tap down the flyaways, but I don't. I hope you can see that I don't. Now looking at my hair, the only thing I'm not liking is this piece right here. It's going this way towards my face. So I'm gonna just touch this up. If you guys notice that I'm able to touch the brush like this, this is a bonus because if your hair starts falling out, just grab it. It's fine. It's not hot at all. Watch me say that and you guys burn yourself. Be careful, but it doesn't burn me. Okay, I think that's good. I feel like this video is a little long, so I'm going to do this in two parts. This is the hair portion, and then I'm going to go on and film the makeup portion. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That helps me out a lot, and the link for the shark will be in my description box. Also the link to the products that I used as well. Those are commissionable links. No pressure to use them. It does help me out, but no pressure. So thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.